Okay, so we're back and we're with Brenda Dansby with Remax Partners. And today we're going to be talking about the do's and the don'ts of how your house should look when it's listed. People are going to be coming in and out of your house, sometimes at the last minute. And we need to be prepared for those people to come look at the house because we want to sell it. So we want people to buy it. We want them to be comfortable with it. We are going to be going over a few things that you feel that are important as far as how your home should look when your house is listed. Okay. First, uh, when they walk up to the front door, mm -hmm. it should be clean. The front door, if it needs to be painted, it should be freshly painted. And then when they open that door, when they walk in, they need to feel good about coming in the house. Okay. They, you need to have all the lights on and the uh, blinds open. Okay. Uh, some good smelling soft potpourri. Okay, so like nothing vanilla. too strong. No, nothing strong. What about baked cookies? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Ooh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Okay. Some nice soft music, mm -hmm. uh, nothing you know, real fancy, just something soft. Okay. So when they walk in that front door, they feel good about being in the okay. house. So one of the things that people see first when they walk in a home is the living room. So we're going to talk a little bit about clutter. We're going to go on into the living room and take a look at that. Okay. So we're here in the living room, and one of the things, most people have kids. I know that you guys have kids. So one thing that we want to make sure is that the living room is spotless when they come in, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, we know people live in the house, but we're, again, staging the house to be for somebody to come in and feel good and want to buy it. Okay. So if you have children, you might want to have a big basket over in the corner and be able to dump all the toys in there. Okay. And, um, and any, uh, anything that would be on the couches freshen up the pillows and uh but that's okay. basically so it. so this is a no-no that is definitely a no-no <laughs> <laughs> so we got toys everywhere this house yeah. looks like my house my house always looks like this so uh, we want to make sure that all these toys are put up nothing's out everything is clean so this is a no no we don't do that <laughs> okay <laughs> so one place we're also going to look is people the kitchen sales so we're going to take a look at the kitchen and see what we need to do as far as staging our kitchen for selling. Okay. So we're in the kitchen, and this is the selling point of any home. People want to make sure that they have an awesome kitchen. So what are some things that we need to make sure that is done correctly when people come to the home? We want uh, most stuff off of the counters. Okay. Uh, so you need to declutter those. We want the counters shining. Okay. Uh, this homeowner did exactly what I told her to do. Okay. Uh, she put away some appliances that were just too much for the counters. Okay. Stuff like and, toasters, blenders. Right, okay. right. But you can leave some things out, but don't just have wall, you know, one right after the other. Okay. Um, the uh, counters are shining, the lights are on, there's natural uh, light coming in through the windows. So just mainly keeping it clean and decluttered. Mm -hmm. um, I have some buyers that would open the refrigerator just mm. to see oh my goodness. what kind of housekeeper <laughs> oh my the, um, the owner <laughs> is. So, so it's good to clean that and okay. have that uh, sparkling, uh, the dishwasher, the, the cooktop, and the microwave. Okay. But it's okay to have leftovers in the refrigerator. You just want to oh, make yeah. sure that it's clean. There's not a whole bunch of stains everywhere. And drops, you know, food. And okay. Like you want to make sure there's nothing smelly in there. Yes. You know, because it is true that sometimes people take the appliances with the house. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that it's clean so people can kind of get an idea of what they're going to have. Right. The washer and dryer and refrigerator can be a negotiable thing because they are movable. Anything that's built in stays okay so anything that is movable would be negotiable okay so we just need to make sure that it's clean ready to go and especially with the stainless steel they pick up fingerprints all over the place so you want to make sure you get a good like stainless steel cleaner right. and get that mm -hmm. stuff clean because people don't want to see fingerprints all over everything too right mm -hmm. okay well what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the bedroom next it's also another important factor and so we're going to head on into the bedroom and kind of see what's going on in there 
All right, so we're in the bedroom, and I know that we talked a little bit about furniture just when we were talking and passing. What should we do if our furniture is too overwhelming for the bedroom? If you could move a couple of pieces out, maybe to the corner of the garage, uh, that would help. You see how this bedroom has got lots of space mm -hmm. still in here. So mm -hmm. yes, and have again, have the counters cleaned off. Okay. Just a few things on there. Okay, what about personal pictures? I know we didn't talk about that in the living room, but you know, what if we have personal pictures on dressers and things like mm -hmm. that? Is that too much? Do people not want to see that? Um, actually, I think that a few personal pictures are good. It makes the house look homey, like somebody really does live here. Okay. Now, if you've got a whole wall full of family pictures, no. Okay. No. So, like, you know, as you're walking up the banister and you see, like, the... Yes. Uh, you're saying that people should take that down. Yeah. Okay. Because it kind of makes it seem kind of weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and the holes need to be you know, taken care of. Okay. Because that those kind of things, people are like, oh, there's holes in the wall. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. All right. What about carpet? Carpet, you know, a lot of people have hardwood floors now, but there's usually carpet in the bedroom. Should the carpet be spotless? You know, is it okay? The carpet to... needs to be professionally clean before you list the house. Okay. Because it also helps with smells too, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we want to clean our carpet. Make sure our carpet's clean. Make sure we make the bed, no clutters. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up and making sure our lights is on, things like that. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the master bathroom and kind of see if, you know, what we should be looking for in terms of cleanliness, how it should look when someone comes in because the bathroom is also another selling feature. People like nice bathrooms, so let's All take right. a look. So we're in the bathroom. We're kind of taking a look to see what should go on in the bathroom in terms of cleanliness? What are some things that we should look for in the bathroom? Well, this bathroom has a beautiful shower with the seamless glass. You need to make sure that that glass is clean okay. and that there's not a lot of product in the shower, but some product okay. you can use. The counters need to uh, be cleaned off and have minimum amount of a, a product on there and this is perfect example mm -hmm. uh, we know that this family has a child okay. uh, because she's got her toys in the tub well, okay. it's okay they're in there they're nice and neat it's okay to leave them in there okay. as long as it's together and not mm -hmm. not strung all around and on the uh, floor okay the closet is another good feature uh, uh, I think kitchen Bathrooms and closets help sell a house, okay. uh, so they need to be neat and clean. Okay, and that's the key thing. People want to see how big things are. They want to see the size, you mm -hmm. know, and those things are important. If you have too much stuff laying around, mm -hmm. it's hard to get a good picture. So nice, clean things. And speaking of clean, let's talk a little bit about closets, but we're going to head out here and kind of take a look to see what it should look like. Sure. All right, so we're talking a little bit about closets and making sure that, because people do peek in closets. They want to see what kind of space they have available in the house to store their items. So here we have a little hallway closet, which is kind of like a little catch-all here. Yes, this doubles as a, a coat closet and a storage closet. Mm -hmm. um, and they have the things in here, but it's not just thrown in there. Okay. They're neatly placed in there, so I mm -hmm. uh, just want to make sure that the closets are neat. But not packed all the way up to the ceiling Correct. and stuff. And yes. So it's, but just nice and neat, not overwhelming, but not so much where you have to be like overwhelmed with, you know, having to find space for things. Right. Because people are going to live that way too, mm -hmm. so it's normal and natural for them to see closets with things in it. They don't all have to be Oh, clean. yes, yes, okay. yes. So we want to make sure that the closets are clean. And I know one thing that we're also going to talk, speaking of closing the door on things, <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit about closing next. We're getting to the finish line of, the, you know, people have looked at the house, but now they're interested. So in our next topic, we're going to talk about closing on the deal and walking across the finish line.